Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on cooling and dehumidification process with the help of psychrometric chart. So first I will read what is the given problem. Moist air enters a refrigeration coil at 35 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 55% relative humidity at the rate of 100 meters cube per minute. The barometric pressure is 1.013 bar. The air leaves at 27 degrees Celsius. Calculate tons of refrigeration required and the final relative humidity. If the surface temperature of cooling coil is 10 degrees Celsius and bypass factor 0.1, calculate the tons of refrigeration required and condensate flow. So this was the given problem and let us first understand the data with the help of diagram. Now if we observe this diagram here, the air entering the cooling coil is shown with the help of point 0.1. Now what is the data given? So temperature is given 35 degrees Celsius. Air enters at the rate of 100 meter cube per minute and relative humidity 55%. So we have to show this data at point 0.1. Now what is the data given? for the air leaving the cooling coil that is at point 2. So the temperature is given 27 degree Celsius. Now the surface temperature of cooling coil is given. So that is nothing but apparatus dew point. Now if we observe here the cooling coil, this surface temperature for this cooling coil. So all the data related to cooling coil we will show here with this point 3. So apparatus dew point that is ADP is equal to 10 degree Celsius and bypass factor 0.1. That is all the data is shown. Now we have to write what is the initial condition of air that is at point 1. So dry bulb temperature TD1 35 degree Celsius relative humidity 5 1 55%. V1 100 meter cube per minute and what is the final condition of air that is at point 2 dry bulb temperature TD to 27 degree Celsius. Now related to this data we will plot the point 1. So if we observe the diagram here the dry bulb temperature is shown on the horizontal line and for this 35 degree Celsius temperature I have shown the line with the help of this red line and this red line intersect at the inclined lines with 55% relative humidity. Now here if we observe the inclined lines with percentage that is 30%, 40%, 50% is given and these lines indicates the relative humidity. So we have to extend this temperature line only up to this 55% relative humidity line and that point of intersection will give us the point 1. Now how to find out this dew point temperature at this point 1. Now if we observe here the weight bulb of saturation temperature is given in degree Celsius. Now along this inclined line 5, 10, 15, 20 that these are the temperatures that are given. Now if we observe from this temperature line there are the horizontal lines. So here is the 25 degrees Celsius temperature. This is the horizontal line. Now if I extend the line parallel to this horizontal line but passing through this point 1 along this inclined line then the temperature at this point will give us the dew point temperature. So now we have to note down what is the dew point temperature at this point when. So with the help of green line I have extended this line and what is this temperature here. So if we observe it is below 25 degrees Celsius temperature. So it is dew point temperature at this point when V is equal to 24.5 degrees Celsius. Now we have to write TDP1 which is equal to 24.5 degrees Celsius and temperature of air leaving the coil is equal to 27 degree Celsius. Now we have to compare these two temperatures and we have to make one conclusion. Now if we observe here the dew point temperature is less than the temperature of air leaving the coil. So what is the conclusion? 
since the temperature of air leaving the coil or effective temperature of coil is above the dew point temperature of entering air so no dehumidification process occurs sensible cooling process occurs from point 1 to point 2 now from this data we come to know that there is no dew humidification process that means this specific humidity is not changing but only sensible cooling process so what is this sensible cooling process that means there is decrease in dry bulb temperature only and the specific humidity remains constant from point 1 to point 2 so taking into account this information now we are going to plot the point 2 so this point 1 is already plotted now from the conclusion we come to know that the specific humidity remains constant so if we observe this diagram on the right hand side here the moisture content that is the specific humidity is there so we have to keep the specific humidity constant so we will extend from this point 1 one horizontal line so to keep the specific humidity constant now the temperature or dry bulb temperature at this point 2 is given that is 27 degree celsius so we have to take here one line so i have taken here one line for this vertical line from this 27 degree celsius temperature now this horizontal line with reference to point 1 and the vertical line from this 27 degree celsius intersect at one particular point and that point will give us the point 2 so in this way these two points are getting selected now we have to find out what is the enthalpy at point 1 and point 2 so how to find out now if we observe here the enthalpy in kilojoule per kilogram of dry air is given now along this inclined line the enthalpy is given 65 70 75 80 85 85 so now if we observe from this points there are inclined lines given so we have to take the lines parallel to these inclined lines but passing through this point 1 and point 2 now if we observe the green line is passing through the point 1 that is that is intersect at this inclined line so what is this value here so it is above 84 and h1 is equal to 85.4 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air so here on the psychrometric chart whatever the unit is given we have to use the same unit now in the same way what is the enthalpy at point 2 so with the help of green line if we observe h2 is equal to 77 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air so these are the enthalpies now we will find out what is the specific volume at this point 1 now how to find out if we observe the red inclined lines on the psychrometric chart here the specific volume is given in meter cube per kilogram of dry air so here the unit is given now we have to take the parallel line with this red inclined line but passing through this point 1 so if we observe this red line i have shown here that is on this 0.9 so if we observe here the value is given 0.88 then 0.9 so this red line is on that line only so what is the specific volume that is 0.9 meter cube per kilogram of dry air now we will calculate what is the tons of refrigeration required so for that we have to note down what is the value of h1 h2 and vs1 that is the specific volume at point 1 now we will calculate first what is the mass of entering mass of air entering the coil that is m1 so v1 is given and vs1 we know from the psychrometric chart so mass of air entering the coil the formula is v1 by vs1 that is 100 by 0.9 which is equal to 111.1 kg per minute now what is the tons of refrigeration required 
so during the process 1 to 2 that is we have to take the enthalpy difference multiplied by this mass mass of air entering the coil that is m1 multiplied by h1 minus h2 so when we put the values we will get 933.24 kilojoule per minute but here the tons of refrigeration that is tr we want the answer in tr so Again, we will divide it by 210, then we will get 4.44 TR. So, this is the answer. Then, what is the final relative humidity at point 2? Now, if we observe the point 2, the final relative humidity that is in percentage phi 2 is equal to 86%. Now we will move for the next part of the problem. So what is the condition of air that cooling coil? So we know that is the data at point C. So apparatus dew point 10 degrees Celsius and bypass factor 0 0.1. So according to this data, we will plot here the point 3. So point 1 is already known that is 35 degrees Celsius and 55% relative humidity. And what about the point 3? So it is 10 degrees Celsius apparatus dew point. So how to plot? So we have to take the vertical line for 10 degrees Celsius temperature and we have to intersect with 100% saturation line. That means relative humidity here in percentage is given 100%. So here this line inter 10 degrees Celsius line intersect at this inclined line that point of intersection will give us the point 3 so in this way point 1 and point 3 are getting selected and we have to join this point 1 to 3 now we have to compare the apparatus dew point and the dew point temperature at point 1 so we have already selected dew point temperature at point 1 that is 24.5 degrees Celsius. And what is the apparatus dew point? That is the 10 degrees Celsius. Now if we compare then what we come to know. Since the coil or apparatus dew point is less than the dew point temperature of entering air. Therefore, this is the process of cooling and dehumidification. Means what? Here the cooling process is taking place as well as dehumidification. That is the humidity or specific humidity decreases from point 1 to point 2. Now here the bypass factor is given. So what is the formula for this bypass factor? That is TD2 minus ADP divided by TD1 minus ADP. Now we have to find out what is the dry bulb temperature at point 2. So for that we can use the formula for this bypass factor because bypass factor is given in the problem. ADP is known and TD1 is also known. So only TD2 is unknown and we can calculate it. So we can write here 0 0.1 is equal to TD2 minus 10 divided by 35 minus 10 and therefore TD2 is equal to 12.5 degrees Celsius. Now this dry bulb temperature at point 2 is known. Now we can plot here the point 2. So how to plot? So we have to select the dry bulb temperature that is 12.5 degrees Celsius. And we have to extend this temperature line up to this line joining point 1 to 3. So here this point of intersection will give us the point 2. Now we will measure what is the enthalpy at this point 2. So H2 is equal to 35 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air. So I have shown here the enthalpy line with the help of the green line. Now we will find out what is the tons of refrigeration required when the surface temperature of cooling coil is 10 degrees Celsius. So TD2 that we have already calculated H2 that we have to note down 35 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air. So we know that what is the tons of refrigeration required that is the formula mass that is M1 multiplied by the 
enthalpy difference that is h1 minus h2 so m1 we have already calculated and h1 that is 85.4 minus h2 that is 35 so if we calculate this we will get the answer 5600 kilojoule per minute but now we want answer in tons of refrigeration that is in tr so we have to divide here with 210 then we will get the answer 26.7 tr so this is the answer now we will find out what is the value of humid specific humidity at point 1 and at point 2 so with the help of orange lines i have shown here the extension from this point 1 and point 2 on this moisture content that is kilogram per kilogram of dry air that is shown on this vertical line so what is the value of omega 1 or specific humidity at point 1 that is 0 0.0196 kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So we have to use the same unit. Now what is the value at this point too? That is 0 0.0088 kilogram per kilogram of dry air. Now we have to note down this data and now we will calculate what is the condensed flow. So what is the formula to calculate this condensed flow? That is M1 multiplied by this hum specific humidity difference that is omega 1 minus omega 2. So when we calculate this, we will get the answer 1.2 kilogram per minute.